Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Peseta here on Shared Moments with Justice. And on this uh, particular segment, we are having a conversation with Soran Organics, who are the producers of organic beauty products, and they care so much about our skin well-being. So today on uh, studio, we have our resident <laughs> co-host, Madame Rosette. Yes. Karibu sana. Asante sana. You're well? I am very well. I'm Please. very well, Josephine Asante. Wow. Yeah. I'm happy to see you. It's always a pleasure and thank you for having me over and over and over and adopting me as family. Karibu sana. <laughs> How has it been? It's been good. It's been, uh, it's been engaging. It's been fantastic. I, I honestly wouldn't complain. Um, we are engaging more. I think the idea of sharing information is powerful. Information mm. is power. When clients are empowered, when we know the issues, the causes of the issues that we have, mm. then we are better informed to tackle them. I'm glad to hear yeah. that. Information is power. Information is power. And people are responding well? Yes, they are. They mm. are. In fact, I remember some of the episodes, episodes especially the ones where we were doing actively uh, demonstrating how to use the products effectively. Mm. I've had a couple of calls where people tell me, I didn't know I need to incorporate this into my night routine, for example. Wow. I didn't know I need to incorporate this. I, I, I've been doing it wrong. I've been layering my products wrong. So you see, wow. that really goes a long way in telling you that there's so many people mm. who know they have this condition. They know they need to reach out and get products, but then they don't know how to effectively use them. So then information is power. Wow. Yeah. I'm happy to hear. That's yeah. good news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So before we go mm. so far, mm -hmm. please introduce yourself to yeah. that person watching you for the first time mm. yes so if we haven't met my name is rosette mumani i run a company called soran organics at soran organics we manufacture we formulate keyword we are very very passionate about formulation of organic beauty products and also wellness products slowly getting into that space but mainly focusing on the face we sort out acne issues we sort out different skin types oily skin hyperpigmentation, and even skin tone, dark marks, and our entire range of products has anti-aging benefits. Mm -hmm. This is very critical to you and everybody else around you. So if you haven't watched our previous uh, episodes, please go back, uh, feel free, uh, follow uh, Shared Moments with Justice, follow back the Pesetta series. I think by now we have a whole, I think, I think, uh, uh, First season. <laughs> we almost, we almost yeah, because we've done over season. yeah half a season, almost <laughs> over ten episodes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So please feel free to go back. There's a lot of information which you've shared, which will be helpful to you. Mm. Yeah. On today's episode, we wanted to talk about uh, a very important topic. Mm. Uh, that is a lack of sleep. You know. Yeah. Actually, sleep is one of the biggest beauty tip. It is. And we are required to averagely have a minimum of eight hours of sleep. Eight hours of sleep. <laughs> I feel like that's a bit overstretched. <laughs> but uh, why do we need to have this conversation? And what's mm. its relevance mm. when it comes to makeup and beauty in general? Mm. A very good uh, topic and discussion to have. And I think uh, one of the reasons I love this platform um, that you guys have provided, Sorano, is because sharing this information, some of these simple things that we take for granted mm. can go a long way in not just our outlook, but even our overall health, yes. general health and our overall well-being. Remember, we keep emphasizing that bringing out your true authentic self, mm. we keep emphasizing you being your Building this confidence, mm -hmm. feeling good about ourselves. Now, beauty is the overall, like I, I keep saying, there's no, there's no, what is it called, SI unit mm -hmm. to beauty. Mm -hmm. For me, beauty is somebody who's feeling very, very authentic. They don't need to hide behind any, whatever. They don't need to feel like the... Any beauty enhancers and all that. Enhancers. Mm -hmm. And for us to be able to achieve that then we need to take care of your inner mm. if you lack sleep for example it will show because you'll be moody there's a lot of lethargy associated with that there's a lot of um, and because you're moody and you're wrinkly and everything your skin is not glowing remember also we are doing all this giving you all these good oils especially on your night routine mm. when your body is at rest there's a lot of rejuvenation happening 
And therefore, if that process is not effective, mm. because you're busy, you, you, you're constantly, you know, you, <laughs> you're, not <providing> the right <laughs> you're not providing the right environment for the oils to exactly. be able to work. You nailed it. Mm. You're not providing the right environment for your body to rejuvenate, for your body to absorb these oils, for them to be effective. Mm. Yeah, so that is why beauty, beauty sleep, and that is why it's called beauty sleep. Yes. Yeah, yes. very, very important. Aside from many other mm. importances of sleep, which mm. we know about, which are medical, which are, you know, but also, mm. if you're not providing your body with rest, it mm. has no time to absorb and utilize all these ingredients that we are giving you. So you're saying that it is very important to prepare the body, even before we go into the skin routine. Yeah. Ha make sure that we have the right environment to get enough sleep. We have the right environment, we have the right diet, we are hydrating ourselves, we are exercising because detoxifying the body mm. is part of beauty. If your body is full of toxins, it will show on your skin. Mm. So yes, we are talking about the total human wellness. wellness. Wow. Total wellness affects beauty. Mm. Yeah. We cannot run away from that. That is deep. We cannot run away from that. That is deep. Yeah. So people might be actually using the products but but still applying the wrong methods and uh, the results will be delayed. Yes, because um, you can even have the correct order of application, assuming you understand your evening routine mm. because that's information we've shared and you're empowered, but then you're not sleeping enough. At what point is your body rejuvenating? Mm. You know, mm. so then that affects not only your internal health, but also even your outer, outward yes, 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 look. Yes, yes. Mm. And, and you see now because if, if maybe we delve deeper, so what are these causes of? sleeplessness or lack of sleep you mm, know mm. i mean let's address the common ones even without being medical going into the depths <laughs> the, of the it. very common ones very common ones yes mm? uh stress stress yes what you mean by <laughs> what you mean by everybody is stressed everybody is stressed yes relationships I'm a, I'm a husband, wife, you yes. know, relationships, it's a big conversation now. Hmm. Money issues. Money issues. We're in a very tough economy. There are so many people who are struggling with, with money issues. But I keep asking myself, and if you just tweak your thought process into the understanding that whether you stress about it from now till Timbuktu, if there's nothing you can do about it in this very moment, mm. what is the point? Mm. It adds more, it adds more negative effects into your mm. health mm. rather than being beneficial. Because during sleep, we are allowing our body, our mind to rest and therefore it is better active, it is better productive so that we are able then to tackle these day-to-day -day issues. Mm. So it is not beneficial for us to stress ourselves to death. <laughs> okay. <laughs> easy said than done. <laughs> it's, it's very easy said than done. Yeah. Because then again, uh, it's very difficult to avoid some of these life issues. Very difficult. We experience them. We yeah. live with them. We live with them. So it's only natural to stress. But there, there are also ways in which we can try and avoid or create a conducive environment for us to be able to sleep better. Yes, and that is why we're having this conversation. Because as she rightfully says, we cannot avoid stress. It is impossible. Mm -hmm. But then another thing also we have to agree is that stressing ourselves to death is also yes, not beneficial really to us. It's not going to yes. solve the problem. Yes. So then what are these? And because you see, if we do not address that, mm -hmm. what are we looking at? If you don't address lack of sleep, if you don't address insomnia, mm -hmm. insomnia can be caused by so many other reasons. Mm -hmm. It could be medical, but it could also be these simple triggers we are talking about, mm -hmm. stress related. Another thing that I really need to bring out, technology. Technology. <laughs> so a big... A good <laughs> to have. Yes. But we are carrying our phones to bed. To make a pillow. Yes. Eh? <laughs> we are with our laptops watching it's, movies. It's the last thing you have before you close your eyes. And you it's the first up. thing you reach out for. In the morning. In the morning. Eh? We are watching movies under our pillows. So that is also a trigger of sleeplessness. And we will get into that. If we don't address these mm. causes that we've talked about, 
you're looking at lethargy, you find somebody who's very irritable, they are snappy, you talk to them, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. because they, their body is not well rested, so mm -hmm. they become very moody, they become snappy, they wow. become social misfits, mm -hmm. because you cannot fit in a social setting. Mm -hmm. We are attracting diseases like high blood pressure, heart diseases, we are not allowing even our heart to rest, because wow. lack of sleep means we're in a constant state of anxiety, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. is why we are not sleeping well, we are not sleeping enough we become very deranged, our judgment is impaired. Yes, We yes. cannot make wise decisions mm. because our mind is constantly clogged. We need to free up that, the, our mind for it to be able to think mm. and to be productive. Mm. So then this is why we're having this conversation in essence to address some of these yes, issues yes, yes, because yes. they are simple, simple, believe it or not, I keep saying the Bible says ignorance is a sin. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Simple ways of sorting this out. Yes. Yeah. So from what you're telling me, yeah. I, I gather that uh, sleep is very important because the body undergoes a process yes, it does. while sleeping. Yeah. So it's very good to try and make sure that we get enough at least enough sleep mm. so what are these some of the processes that the body undergoes mm. that benefit our skin our and, and uh, yeah. that benefit our skin and our general well-being well-being mm. i like that question because you see like we said when you understand the why the how the then it makes you appreciate mm. why mm. you need to make sure you make time allocate time for sleep now the body when it's under rest Number one, generally, we rest. Yes, and rest is very it important. It is very important. Even God rested. Even God rested. Who are we not to rest? Who are we? Yes. Who are we who said that we, you know, <laughs> who are we, we are not trying, we, yes, we cannot mm. save the world mm. by working around the clock. Mm. We will kill ourselves faster. So rest is very important. We unclog our mind. Allow the mind, because it has absorbed so much information during the day, mm -hmm. allow the mind to unclog. And in that unclogging process is when we, when we find clarity. Mm -hmm. Secondly, during the sleep cycles, this is when our body builds immunity. Remember, during the day, we are constantly fighting many things. The food we've put in our, pro in our, in our body, mm -hmm. the hydration we are exposed to, radiation, uh, pollution, mm. uh, you, whatever, free radicals, which are working on hydrating us. We are in this stress environment where our body is constantly engaged. Mm. So during rest, the body finds time now to start rejuvenating and um, what is it called? Replenishing mm. our hormone system. Wow. That is where you find there is an influx of diseases. People are not resting enough because the body has no time to build immunity. Mm -hmm. And now key also to that, and for us what is important, is at that time is also when the body rejuvenates. Yeah, we are new reju cells are reproduced. We are rejuvenating new wow. cells. We keep talking about skin rejuvenation, we keep mm. talking about scalp rejuvenation, we keep talking about... That is where <laughs> even this anti-aging, whatever we are talking about, it's both internal and external, mm -hmm. believe it or not. What we are addressing here, topically is almost like a supplement but then ideally god gave us nature mm -hmm. to be able to be i keep saying self-regulation which means if we nourish the body correctly if we give it the rest it needs if we hydrate properly the body builds and if we rest mm -hmm. we allow the body to build that immunity it the body has enough defense mechanism mm. to fight off these diseases, mm. to fight off this early aging we are talking about. Mm. And therefore, this is why we are sharing this information, because if we take care of, of the total wellness that we keep talking about, mm. then this topical becomes like a supplement. Yes. Yeah, it is a supplement, but in essence, you avoid all these diseases we are talking about. We avoid all these stressors that you are talking about. We avoid um, these early aging issues we are talking about, believe it or not. Mm. It is both internal as much as it is, it is external. external. Wow. Yeah. Okay, from now on, I'll be looking at sleep differently. <laughs> differently. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start appreciating yeah. sleep right? 
and try and get it um yeah. get enough sleep yeah but like i had mentioned mm -hmm. it's so it's almost impossible it's not even almost it's impossible <laughs> <laughs> you know to lead a stress-free life mm. and even have that conducive environment for sleep mm. but there are people who try and find solutions elsewhere yeah. trying to solve their sleep problems yeah. or mm. lack of it per se. Mm. What, what's your take on that <laughs> You know, Josephine, I think we really must, especially when you find these simple solutions that work, mm. it's important that then we make noise about them because most people are going to find solutions in sleep medication. Mm. I, I'm, I'm not a medic and I'm not going to rule it out because also insomnia can be caused by so many other things. It could be the type of medication you're taking and therefore you need to be supplemented with mm -hmm. to, to be aided to sleep. Mm. But generally... Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, of, uh, uh -huh. That should come from the doctor. It should be a prescription. It should be a prescription. Yes. Now it is affordable. It's over the counter. Mm. It should be a prescription to address a specific issue. issue. Yes. But look, all the issues we've talked about, I can guarantee you, I might not have the exact statistics. Mm. More than fifty people, fifty percent of the people who suffer insomnia or lack of sleep, it's because of the normal stressors mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. It's because of these gadgets that we've adopted that we're attacking under our beds when and you go beds, to sleep. And do you normalize it? I see people chatting. Well, you don't ask me what <laughs> I see them do. <laughs> what I'm normally doing when I see them. But I see people I calling themselves osikusako. Uh, osikusako. <laughs> you eh? know? That is when we are very active. Yes. What are we doing? We are activating our brain that there is information it needs to process. So at what point is this brain resting? Mm -hmm. So we are trying to avoid this over-the-counter self-medication because one, you can easily get addicted to it. If you become addicted, it can lead to impaired judgment. And therefore now your decision making is impaired mm -hmm. and you don't want that. Long term, these are the things which go to stop your heart. Mm. Because you, you see, it's keeping your adrenaline high. You're overworking your internal systems. You're keeping them awake oh. longer than they should. Than they should. You're, you're, you're introducing, you're introducing um, ingredients to go and jumpstart that process that ideally should be a natural process. Mm. It's almost like greasing an engine. Over time, it has a lifespan. <laughs> You know, it has a lifespan. So then we want to avoid this mm. by just simple, simple ways of yes, yes. training our mind to mm. go back to rest. Mm. Yeah. Is there any natural enhancers <laughs> <laughs> that would perhaps help yeah. us uh, have the right environment to, mm. to allow us sleep? Or what are the do's and don'ts? Yeah. Mm. So I think the key... Key, key, key takeout, or um, one of the main ways you can you can improve on your sleep sleep uh, habits mm. is to create an evening routine. Mm -hmm. Now I know we all are in different industries. We all have different workloads. There's family. There's but I always say creating healthy boundaries mm -hmm. goes a long way in trying to achieve all these things we are chasing to achieve. We yes. can achieve them and we can achieve them in a healthy manner mm -hmm. by creating healthy boundaries. If it's a family setup, have a time by which the kids have to sleep. This allows you as the adult to give yourself room to also have an evening routine. We call it a wind down routine. Okay. Now, key to this wind down routine is to have it way way before midnight statistics or science research shows that the sleep we get before midnight is very 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 beneficial to our bodies that's the quality sleep that is the quality sleep so we are not saying get your eight hour sleep but sleep at one <laughs> and, wake up at, <laughs> and wake 12. up at 12 <laughs> the next day <laughs> yes no, no 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 that is not going to help your system the sleep you get before midnight is the most most important sleep mm -hmm. this wind down routine we will not be prescriptive but we can give ideas because you know not all of us enjoy doing the same things in yeah. the evening. Mm -hmm. The idea is to train your mind that during this time, this is rest. Mm. Because our mind, we train our mind. We train our mind the same way we train it, what time to wake up. If you're used to waking up at 5 a.m., how come whether the alarm goes off or not, you wake up at Don't 5 a.m.? wake up. You've trained your mind. Mm. If you're used to taking your meals at one at certain times, around that time, you'll feel you're hungry. hungry. Mm. If you're used to taking your kids to bed at about 
7 p.m. And this one time you're late and you're feeding them at 7 p.m. They're notice, dozing off. Yes. They're dozing off mm. because you've trained the mind. The same way we train our mind for the, all these other activities, we can train the mind into a wind down routine. Now, what are some of these things you can do during a wind down routine? You can take a shower. It is very relaxing. Remember, mm. we are talking about anxiety, stress. Yes. So essentially what we are trying to do is to relax the body okay. as much as possible yes. during our wind down routine. Mm. During your wind down routine, make sure you've worked your schedule backwards to take care of your most important workload and all those things that create anxiety during the day. During yes. your wind down routine, you can read a book, but mm. you're not necessarily on your laptop typing away your reports and mm -hmm. dealing with emails and all those things which are keeping your mind active in a very active decision making mm. process mm. you can read a book during your wind down routine you can dim your lights make it a habit create a space in your bedroom where your gadgets are not allowed mm. have your gadgets in your living room your dining room but make it a habit that once mm. you've stepped into your bedroom, the mind knows. Hapa ni kulala. Hapa ni kulala. Hapa siyo kutaipa away. Mm. Keep your phone away from mm. social media. Maybe turn off your internet. Mm. Allow your, I mean, we cannot save the world in one night. Yes. yes. The house is not burning. <laughs> you can pick those messages the next morning yes. and respond to them. Mm. So have a routine where you put away the gadgets. Now, most people, it, they have had this prolonged uh, routine where their mind is active even at night. And this is why we came up with this bedding spray. Okay. Because there are some essential oils mm. you can use instead of ingesting. Yes. Those medication we are talking about. Yes, they help with uh, calming yes. the mind. Exactly. Whole, yes, more they, of aromatherapy. It is aromatherapy. Ah. The essential oils, they calm the body. Mm. This is why we drink chamomile tea for sleep. Mm. So chamomile essential oil, if you inhale it, it calms your nerves. Yes. Bergamot calms your nerves. We have a, a, a concoction of about six essential oils, mm. which are very well known through research mm. to calm your nerves, to reduce anxiety, to calm your brain, the racing mind, wow. to calm the racing mind. Mm. And what that does, that process alone of calming your body, calming your racing mind, and, and relaxing your muscles, mm. that process allows your body to produce melatonin. That's Mel the sleep hormone. Yeah. Yes, oh, that's nice. the sleep-inducing hormone. Because mm. when you're in a constant state of anxiety and agitation, your body is not able to produce melatonin. Mm. So all we're trying to do is to calm this body so that it can produce melatonin. So that then you can sleep better and have quality sleep. Wow. So essentially for this, mm. when you've done your evening wind-down routine, Five minutes before you jump into your bed, you spray it on your pillow, on your bedding, and then you jump in so that you're inhaling. You're inhaling. And remember, wow. we talk about safe, organic, and please do not go for synthetic essential oils. Oh, they are synthetic. Very many in the market. Very many in the market. Right. Very, very important that you go for organic mm. essential oils because this is something you're inhaling. Mm. So you also yes. want to inhale. Yes. Very safe yes. ingredients, yes. Yes. which Otherwise are not going to be doing more harm to yourself. You'll be doing more harm to your lungs. Mm. Yeah, so we do not want to create a problem by trying to solve another one. Wow. So very important to use safe essential oils. We try to <laughs> make sure that we incorporate some of these yeah. um, practices, safe practices, to ensure mm. that we get quality sleep. Mm. But there are others that... Um, pole pole too. Mm. Mm. Kidogo mm. challenging. Kidogo challenging, <laughs> especially the gadgets. The yeah. gadgets. Mm. I can tell you over seventy percent of the people actually go to bed with their gadgets. And Very unfortunately, by the way, in as much as these gadgets are good for us, not only just for sleep, eh, those radiations we get from those gadgets, they can even act, you've seen an influx of brain tumors. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, well, it's those gadgets. Those and even this whatever we are talking about, even these very nice oils that can help you relax, mm -hmm. they're not gonna work 
if you spray and then you're still mm -hmm. with your you're peeping at because you see what you're doing you're keeping your mind active that there's information it needs to process yet you are supposed to now relax you're supposed mind. to relax mm. yeah so wind down means wind down Properly. even if it's 30 minutes before you sleep whatever train your mind that during this time during this time there is no you need this extensive light. We call it screen light. Mm. There's no screen light because it activates the brain. During this time, I'm gonna. Some people when a lot of nasty shots that singing any ngombe. Vai yo tu. Kama yondi oyako. Guy, kama yondi oyako. Basi train your mind. Aki ikiona singing any ngombe. You know, join your wind down. You know, as in even that simple process of stepping from your normal day clothes into. Night so clothes, night have clothes. night clothes. Mm. If it's your time for taking a shower, doing your skincare routine, mm. do your skincare routine. Taking your chamomile tea. Ke take your chamomile tea. Mm -hmm. Read your book. This is the time for you to connect with God. For me, that's what I do. It's my time for devotion. Mm. So that your mind at that time knows. Apa sasa, tumeachana na. Mm, the day's activity. The day's activity. Now we are getting into, we are getting into this space where the body is relaxing naturally because of the things you're doing in mm. that space. Mm. So avoid the gadgets. Get into a routine where either you change from your day clothes into the evening clothes. Highly recommended. Do your evening routine. Do your skincare routine. Connect with God. Read a motivational book. Because another thing also to, to deactivate the mind from this activity is to make sure that whatever you consume as the last piece of information as you go to bed mm -hmm. is not stressful mm -hmm. because then again that will keep the mind active mm -hmm. is not something which will keep you wondering that you have to make decision heavy decisions about mm -hmm. go into bed with information that is either motivating spiritual mm -hmm. you know something that then you do not it is not active in fact it is recommended that you go to bed happy <laughs> <laughs> yes you know yeah. that you've mentioned mm. you talk about to, uh, reading something or doing a devotion mm. and then that brings us back here <laughs> we have our books here our mm. bible everything mm. now what i would say some of us have either a corner chair in the yes. bedroom. Mm. Do not read this in your bed. The thing is to train the mind that this is now rest time. Also, these gadgets have daylight ah, and night. dark light. Yes, dark light. If light you're doing more. your wind down routine, mm. activate your dark light. Because then it's not, the, it, we're avoiding this screen light, mm. which mm. almost jump starts you to alertness. So the wind, and this is why we're even saying dim your bedroom lights. It's transitioning from your day routine. You have mm -hmm. to do something different in yes. the night routine mm. so that your mind then starts to acclimatize to, this is different. Mm. At this point, we rest. At this point, we just let go. At this point, we, it's good feel vibes, you know, as we go into rest. Better still invest in hard copies. Invest in hard copies, highly recommended. Mm. Highly recommended, but I'm not ruling out because gadgets are there to make our lives simple. Mm. Invest in, <clears throat> in, in, in hard copies, but if you're gonna use your gadget, away from your bed and switch it to night mode. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Now, there's this uh, special group of people mm. who would love to sleep, mm. but unfortunately, maybe their work hours, mm. are totally day. maybe they work during the night or they work till late. How do they also prepare mm. for um, making sure that they get enough sleep? Because mm. then again, especially for people who work at night, yeah. there's a pressure that comes to it that you cannot really sleep for that long. Maybe they take a two hours nap and then mm. they're back on their yeah. feet and um, chasing life. I know, I mm. know. A very good conversation. I think it's nice that you bring that up because I think I would, it's, for me it's easy, it's easy to respond because remember, even <laughs> around the globe, we're mm. operating on different time zones. Mm. We are awake in Africa, they are asleep in the US. So if you have to travel, then you have to yes, acclimatize to, to that yes. routine. Mm. Same mindset. If your work entails that you work at night and you're awake during the day, over time, you might, again, mm. just retraining your mind. Mm. So what then you must do, because sleep is still very important in as much as catching up with family and all these things are still important. What we want to encourage is then when you get home, do your wind down routine. Mm. Get as, as much sleep as possible 
so the sooner you're mm. at home mm. than later. When you, when you prolong it or derail it, again, you're training your mind to stay alert for longer hours. Mm. So as soon as you get home, either invest in heavy curtains, do your wind down routine, shower, take a shower, jump into night clothes because this is your this is rest your time. This yes. is your night time. Mm. Jump into sleeping clothes, do your facial routine, jump in. If, you, if you're struggling in sleep, spray your bedding mm -hmm. so that you the sooner you're at rest mm -hmm. the sooner you get enough sleep then you can now wake up before you get into your next shift or whatever mm -hmm. then now you have time to catch up with your family you have time to make this other decision that need to be made aside from your normal work routine yes and therefore it makes you more alert it makes you more you're able to make your decisions better you're not constantly at lethargy mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so then do your wind down routine as soon as you get home. Wow. Yeah. And I, I also think there are, um, sometimes lack of sleep can be seasonal. Mm. Not always. Especially for some some of us. Yeah. Because you get maybe... I mean, most of us. Most, <laughs> most of us. Most of us. Sometimes yeah. it's... Um, then the, the um, season Correct. is not as uh, stressful mm. and uh, you are able to sleep naturally. Mm. But there are seasons that are really stressful. Mm. Is that the right time to spread the bedding spray? That is the perfect time to use the bedding spray because you want to continue, mm. uh, you know. To relax your yeah, body to and relax calm your down. body and for your mind to continue with this routine. Mm. Because this routine consistency is very key even in health. Yes. So then we all have those. You know, maybe this month I did very well, my sales were up there if I'm in business. Next month things are, things, things are thick, <laughs> school fees is around the corner, relationship is not working, work environment is stressful, I am unwell. Because also some type of medication also can lead to sleeplessness. So we would want to encourage before you get into sleeping, please pills, try these organic oils. Mm. Spray them on your pillow, they're very, very safe. Spray them on your bedding. You can even spray them around the air in the room mm. so that then you go into a relaxed state mm. so that your body can start releasing this stress and whatever, and your muscles can start releasing the tension so that that automatically triggers melatonin production. Wow, yeah. wow. Mm. That is really great. Yeah. Uh, finally, mm. is there a, an age restriction to this product or can it be sprayed anywhere? Now, good question. Something I keep emphasizing and maybe what, what I would say sets us a bit unique or what, what we're trying to do uniquely is one of our core values is simplicity. Mm. Simplicity in the sense that we invest a lot in research so that when you hear we have over six different types of oils, we've made sure it caters for a wider group mm. of people mm. and it not only tackles one issue. It tackles many issues. We are trying to avoid this unnecessary um, so many hype of being prescribed yes. so mm. many products. If mm. you notice even our facial serum, for example, where we have a vitamin C, we also have hyaluronic acid, we also have niacinamide. Because you can combine this three into one. You go to, you go to purchase your skincare pack. You're told, oh, you need vitamin C, oh, you need hyaluronic you need acid serum, eyes. oh, you need niacinamide. Mm. So then you go home with a kit which is like so heavy, who has the time? So for us, simplicity is very, very important. And this is why I keep emphasizing on safety. We've made sure these oils are safe for both children and adults. Mm. And in that also, there's people who struggle with breath is breathing issues at yes, night, especially yes. when you lay down mm. because of they have different allergies, allergies and yes. stuff like that. Mm. Another thing these oils do is they decongest because ah, yes, that yes. struggle also can mm. lead to sleeplessness. Mm. So another thing we made sure is that the oils we've infused here, when you spray on your pillow, especially kids who are struggling at night, adults who have all these allergy issues, they decongest your system in as much as they also help you relax. Mm -hmm. So yes, they are very safe for kids, but we, when we say kids, because kids under five, their system is still very sensitive, we do not recommend. Kids five and above, very safe. Wow. Yeah. Thank you very much. Where do we get this amazing mm. miracle spray? <laughs> now, this slumber bedding spray. Yes, and all other range and of products. All other products. You can find them at Soran Organics. We are on social media pages on Instagram, on Facebook, and now on YouTube. Just Google Sorano Organics on all platforms. 
Our contact details are there. You can also call us directly on 0721-853-039. Don't suffer in silence. Please, yeah. don't suffer in silence. Don't suffer in silence. Are you stalking anywhere? We are, we are. We have a stockist and this is something also we encourage people to, if you feel like you want to partner with us, to be a stockist of our brand, mm. reach out to us. We can have a conversation as well. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, yeah. This product should be on every <laughs> on every store I know, because right? they're really life saving, mm. and I love the simplicity aspect mm. and the organic part mm. because they you are assured of your safety. You're definitely guaranteed of safety. Wow. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us on this episode of the Pest Setters with Soran Organics. Do join us next week for another episode of the Pest Setters. And remember to follow us on our social media platforms and subscribe on YouTube if you haven't subscribed. Until next time, it's been a pleasure.